I'm thinking a little bit this week just about like why I started and it really is for the craft itself for weaving and so I've just been realizing how important it is for me to continue on with um, my development as an artist and a weaver and it just felt so good to do some weaving this week and get back into it a little bit because I've been doing a lot of teaching a lot of weaving kits which is really awesome too like it's been such a incredible opportunity to be able to do that but I'm realizing that it's the weaving itself that kind of fills me up and gets my creative juices flowing so doing a little bit of that even just for myself um, just felt really good and I think it's important to even if you are teaching in any way to just always make sure you're filling yourself up too and um, yeah how important it is for me to keep weaving. I'm doing all this teaching stuff and it is a lot of fun, but it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I need to keep working on my own practice and keep producing art in order to have that energy and drive to teach all of you how to weave and all those different techniques and stuff. So I think I often forget how therapeutic weaving is for me. It's that repetitive motion, keeping my hands busy, especially in times where I'm feeling a little bit anxious. It's just one of those very meditative things, even if, which always happens when I'm working on a new weaving, I go through such a cycle of creativity where I'm excited and then I'm frustrated and then I'm excited and then I'm mad and it just like goes through the cycle, but there is something very therapeutic about it. So I did a bunch of weaving yesterday and that was really fun. And today I have a bit of an idea of another weaving I wanna start. And it's gonna involve a lot of neutrals. So I thought you guys could hang out with me while I choose some colors. So I've kind of had, whoops, um, not a specific idea for the design in mind, but I've really been wanting to make something with just like all really earthy and neutral tones because those are my favorite. And it's weird. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes as an artist, it's like I feel like I'm saving what I think would be my favorite thing because I, I'm not sure I can do it good enough, which is really silly, but I really just want to work with the colors that I'm most attracted to right now, which is just a whole lot of cozy, warm, neutral colors. Um, some of these are actually <laughs> leftover from my Lululemon project because I bought so much because I was making such big pieces it was hard to calculate what I was all going to need, but I just want like a lot of these browns and off-whites and this green. There's too many options. Do you guys feel that way too? Because sometimes I feel really overwhelmed with the fact that in tapestry, like there is literally, like you could do anything. So sometimes that also stops me from weaving because I feel, I feel a little bit overwhelmed with all the choices I could make. And that's another really silly thing that I do. But yeah, I'm kind of liking this color palette. I, I don't exactly know what I want to do for the design portion of it, but I mean, you get the vibe here, right? Just very earthy and warm and it's very calming, I think is the other thing. So, so yeah, I'm trying to slowly move myself into a place where I plan out my weavings a little more. Like usually I plan at least 
sort of the color palette I want to work with, um, but then everything else I just kind of wing it. Because as I've said many times before, the thing about weaving is that it's not like painting. You can easily add and remove. And so I often will do it that way where I will weave something in and decide I don't like it and take it back out and switch things up and just try things. like. Tapestry lends itself well to a lot of experiment experimentation and without like a lot of consequences because you it's not like those materials are now bad because you wove them in. So this piece I just finished yesterday. I started an Instagram Live we did a couple of weeks ago and I kind of had an idea of where it was gonna go. I knew I wanted to do this gradient sort of ombre effect. It did switch in the middle of it. I was gonna do black to gray to white and then ended up doing black to blue to white. Um, and I tried something new. I did the wavy bottom, which I really like. And I think you, get a lot of freedom and creativity out of allowing yourself to just play. Like I said, weaving and unweaving, seeing what looks good. Um, there's only so much planning you can do on paper because textiles are very tactile and that texture in person looks so different than it does on paper. So as much as you can plan a little bit beforehand, you need to allow yourself and the piece to sort of evolve into what it wants to be. Okay, so here's the finished piece. Um, you probably noticed earlier in this video that I was gonna hang it a different way and it just wasn't working. My tension was a little bit wonky. Um, like I said, I made this during our Instagram Live and I didn't take the time to make sure my tension was even. And I always regret it when I do that, so always make sure your tension is even. Anyway, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out other than a little bit of wonkiness with my tension. 
Um, this is something different that I've never done before with the kind of bottom of the fringe being at this curvy angle and I really like it. So all in all, I'm happy. Um, it felt really good to weave again. I love the colors, the variegation. I'm really into that gradient thing right now. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.